book and almost went to jail two days before my birthday, bro. <laughs> when I was when I was younger. <laughs> So look, I lived. I lived in. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a town in, in Philly. Not a town, but like a part of Philly. A part of Philly called Frankfurt, right? Frankfurt bad as shit. Like, it's a badass environment. Maul know what I'm talking about, but it's a bad. Nigga, I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25, bro. I'm not, I mean, I'm young, but when I was younger, when I was like, this is a head, this, I was like 12, 13. So look, I'm about to tell y'all. Frankfurt fucking sucks. Like, motherfuckers get shot. You see motherfuckers doing drugs all the time. Like, all types of shit. So a bunch of hood ass kids, all types of shit. So look. One day, I'm outside with my friends. <laughs> it's me, my friend, uh, well, my friend at the time, my friend Marcus, and his twin brother. I forget his, his brother's name. Oh, Lil. Me, Marcus, and Lil. I'm about to paint the picture for y'all. We sitting on my step. My block. Is this long ass block in the middle of my block? There's like a, a, a intersection block. So my block is I'm gonna call it P Street. My block is P Street. W Street is that way in the middle of my block. My mom told me every day before she leave the house, do not go on W Street. Do not don't ever go on W Street. I'm in Frankfurt. I'm with my badass friends. I don't listen. I used to go on W Street every fucking day. Without my mom knowing. This is the summertime too. My birthday is in the summer. July 18th. So. One day. <laughs> one day. We decide to go on W Street. Run up and down the street. Play. One of our friends lived on W Street. <laughs> Real right. One of, the, one of our friends lived on W Street all the way at the end. So at the, all the way at the end of W Street is um, Frankfurt Avenue. It's a trade tracks. There's a trade that uh that goes all the way down Frankfurt Avenue. So we go straight up to W Street to go get our friend. <laughs> he don't answer the door. We start climbing on shit. No matter of fact, my friend, Marcus, he comes up with this brilliant idea while we wasn't around and found a way to get on top of a fuck out of roof of the nigga crib, our front house. So we get there, we get we get there, he like, y'all wanna show y'all something. Come on, come with me. Like we like, alright, fuck it. We gonna <laughs> go in, we ain't gonna doing shit else. This nigga start climbing the railing and end up on the fucking roof. So now we we on the corner of W Street in between like the the block and the train tracks are right here, bro. We on the last house on the roof. So we right next to the train tracks, bro. So matter of fact, let me see if I can let me see if I can pull it up and show y'all like let me see if I can pull it up and show y'all, uh, like a visual. I might can pull it up. I am do for life. Chat, I was bad as fuck when I was a kid, chat. Did not care my mom said none of that. That shit was... Come on, bro. Like, do not take that long. All right, bet. Uh, how do you search? Uh, oh, search.
Is this it? Okay, this is it. Wait. It's not it. Where am I at right now? All right, hold on. I know what to do. I know what to look for. <laughs> Bingo. All right, family chat. Yeah, we're on, on this roof, I think. All right, look. Look, chat, look, chat. All right, so look, look, I'm about to show y'all. This. Oh, no, it's on this side. It's on this side. All right, bam, boom. Yeah, chat. That's why I love that. This should look crazy, don't it? I know. Boom, right here, chat. <laughs> My friend lived in this house right here with a mouse at. This, I'm about to show you how my block is. This right here was my block. This block right here is my block. My mom told me to stay the fuck off of this street right here. This right here. So boom. We on this block one day. Boom. The nigga, one of my friends, lived in this house right here. He not home. The little nigga, one of my friends, start climbing shit. He climbed up this. It's like a little gate right here. And we hopped on this roof. The train is right here. There's a bunch of rocks on this roof bro there's a bunch of fucking rocks on this roof bro so so there's rocks right there first thing this nigga started doing this nigga market started doing is picking up rocks and every time a train ride pass throwing rocks at the train launching them bitches at the train fucking the train up but the train window is not gonna break them bones bulletproof all types of shit. We good. Boom. Next thing you know, cars turning in the block. This nigga throwing, start throwing rocks at cars, bro. Nigga start throwing rocks at fucking cars, bro. Boom. About five, six cars go by. He throwing small rocks at the cars. It hit the back of the car. Nothing happened. Cars keep driving. I throw a rock at the train. I'm throwing. I'm still throwing rocks at the train. I'm not fucking with him, bro. I know what could possibly happen. You throw a rock. You fuck somebody's car up with a rock. Boom. I throw a rock. I throw my last rock at the train, bro. Bro, this nigga. I turn around and go walk back towards him to be like, "Yo, we out." The six car tears in the block. Bro, this nigga. Launches, he picks up this big ass rock and fucking launches this shit at the car, bro. Rock hit the car hard as shit, bro. Cracked the whole front windshield. Boom! Hit, fuck the whole windshield up. Bro, when I tell you this car stopped, bro, this car had to be going at least 35, 40 miles per hour. Y'all know that's a little fast to be driving down them little city blocks. Bro, this car stopped so fucking fast, bro. And it's like, bro, it's like he knew exactly where the fucking rock came from. He knew exactly what happened, bro. The nigga 
Boom, hit the car, car stop. When you jump off the roof, there is a little alley where you go through. Bring it back. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I close it out. But it's a little back. It's a little alley where you can run through. I jump off the roof first. I didn't do it. I start haul assing, bro. I swear, it's the fastest I ever ran in my fucking life, bro. So, I jump off the roof, start running through the alleyway. These two niggas follow me. No. Marcus followed me. Lil went the other way. This nigga, I ain't seen Lil since that day, bro. I swear. I jumped up the roof. Marcus jumped the roof. Marcus followed me. Lil go the other way. Back up towards the train track way. Boom. All I hear is <coughs> Bro. <coughs> Excuse me. All I hear is skirt. The nigga. Driving, all right. So you go through the alleyway. Once you get behind the house, you go make a right behind the house, and then you make another left, and you just keep running down the alley. Once we make the left down the alleyway, we see this nigga in between houses as we're running, flying down the fucking block in his car, bro. Oh my god, I almost fucking shit it on myself, bro. This is the scariest day of my fucking life. So, boom. He's flying them thing. We get out the alleyway. When you get out the alleyway, it's this big ass, like, just grass lid. Come out there. Make a left. He come down the block. Make a left. And run back up the block. Run back up, like, the, where the train track's at. We on that street now. We run it back up, like, back this way. The nigga turns, turns his car on the block. This nigga making illegal turns, going down one ways, all types of crazy shit. He turns his car. Boom. I'm running for my fucking life, bro. I'm, I'm, I, bro, I could have shit on myself this day. I swear, I could have shit on myself. He run up the fucking block. He turns, bro. This nigga cut in between oncoming traffic, bro. He, cut, he coming up this side. It's two lanes. Traffic coming this way. He driving this way. We're on this side of the street, running up. When traffic is, traffic is coming this way. We running up, bro. This nigga turned his car, cut off all this traffic, cut us off, and hit the sidewalk hard as shit. Boom, nigga almost got hit by a car there, day. Boom, he hop out the car. I turn around, haul ass him, bro. Right, right back down the block I came up. So boom. We get to the we get back to the bottom of the block with a big ass grass field at. I'm like, alright, we lost him. I'm thinking we good. I'm like, alright, we lost him. Bo, when I tell you No no, we I was like, alright, we lost him. So we we running a little bit, we stopped, we stopped running, we jogging. And Alright, so the grass field biggest I gotta pull up the thing again. It's hard to explain. I gotta pull this shit back up. Bro. We get back to the grass field. We make a right back where the alleyway is and shit. And my block, I shall I'll show y'all how to get back to my house and shit. I just want you for the night. Alright, boom. Yeah, I keep pulling up the wrong screen. Boom. So look. Uh, uh where we at right now? All right, boom. So we was remember we was on this roof right here, chat. We was on this roof, jumped off, ran down this little alleyway right here, come through here, and haul ass down this way, down this little ass alleyway, bro. He. This is a one-way street going that way, bro. This is a one-way street. He, His car got hit with a rock. He stopped right here instantly. Boom. Seeing us jump off, run. He turns down this block, bro. He turns down this fucking block, bro. We see him in between houses. Every time we run past a house and we look over, he's next to us, bro. 
So we come out. We come out. Um, right here. No, it was a way. I forget. It, uh, well, this building wasn't here. This big ass building, it wasn't here. So we just come out and it was grass. This was just all grass. We come up here. Turn. He comes around. Turn. Chasing us. He's on this side of the street, bro. He's chasing us. Like, literally. Cut through oncoming traffic. Cut us off like right here. Hit the curb and everything. Cut us off right here. I turn around. Come back down this way. Run back this way. Now, when I get like right here. When I get like right here, chat. I slow down and start walking. I think he. I think I lost him. I'm thinking everything cool. Bro. I'm walking, walking, walking. Everything cool. This is my block. Check. This right here is my block. I get about... My house is, I think, like right here. Yeah, my house is right here. I get like right here. Check. No, matter of fact, I get all the way to the house. My dumb ass stepdad... Locks the door. The door is fucking locked. I get... I didn't even get all the way home yet. I get like right here. I hear skirt. This nigga is turning up the fucking block, bro. He's turning up the block, Jack. My dumb ass still tries to go in the house. I'm thinking I could just get in the house. I go to open the door. The fucking door is locked. My stepdad in a basement playing these loud ass beats. He think he was a, like a big time producer or some shit. He played these loud ass beats, chat. I'm locked out the house. This nigga is pulling the fucking block. I'm begging on the door for my fucking life, bro. Finally, this nigga stops. Bro, he just be on some stupid shit. The nigga pulls up the block. He sees me running up my steps. Stops me. I was hoping by time, by time, like I got in the house, he would still be back here, so he don't know which house I went in. This nigga, I'm banging on the door for my dear fucking life, and this nigga is taking forever to come to the fucking door, bro. The nigga stops. The cops, the cops pull up like right after he stopped. This nigga must have called the cops while he was chasing us. The cops pull up. I'm thinking I'm done, bro. My stepdad come open the door like he think I'm getting fucking chased or something. He think I'm getting like uh, like I'm uh, like somebody on my ass. Like I'm, I'm about to get fucking killed or something. He like oh 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 oh. I'm like bro, why would you lock the door and I'm outside, bro? What are you doing? He like I always I forgot I forgot you. I boom. The nigga get out the car. Yo, your son go rock in my fucking car. Y'all gonna have to pay for this. And the cops is about to pull out right now. All this other shit. I'm like, uh, shit. Uh, shit. Next thing I know, this nigga Marcus walking up my block. Dumbass. Marcus walking up my block. Cops pull up right, right as Marcus walking out. Bro, when I tell you, I thought I was going to get fucking locked up that day, bro. I was 12 years old, bro. I thought I was done, bro. I thought I was going to jail for fucking life for that shit. <laughs> and I didn't even fucking do it. Marcus did the shit, bro. Marcus did the shit. But look, the cops, the cops access, like, all the information and shit, like our names, address, all that shit. And, uh, neither one of us snitched on each other. Neither one of us said we were throwing rocks or nothing like that. We just said we ran because we were scared. He was, you know what I mean? Boom. Now, this is when the story get fucking crazy. My mom pulls up. She see all the fucking cop cars. My mom get out her car back here in the middle of the street. She got, she is fucking going nuts, bro. My mom is scared to death. She don't know what's going on. Imagine, imagine you just, imagine you appear and you just pulling up to all these cop cars in front of your house. Um, a cop's talking to your, your child. 
you have no idea what the fuck is going on. I would have a fucking heart attack too. A heart attack too. My mom is fucking snapping, bro. So, she come up to me. I'm saying, I go to sit on the steps. She come up to me. What happened? What the fuck happened? I'm like, Ma, I didn't do it. They was over there throwing rocks. I didn't do it. She said, over where? I said, on W Street. She said, from from everything went from scared to angry, bro. She's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I said, yeah. She like, from where? I said, W Street. She said, I'm going to fuck you up. I swear to God. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, shit. Bro. I said, oh, my God. Bro. The cops took took Marcus home. Let his parents know everything. Let me go in the house. Bro, soon as the fucking... Door to my front house, my my uh, front door closed. My mom started punching me like I was a regular nigga on the streets, bro. My mom started whooping my ass, bro. I told you not to fucking go down there. Why the fuck was you on that block? That's the only thing she said to me. Why the fuck was you on that block? I told you not to go down there. Before I could get any words out, before I could try to say it wasn't me, anything, I get punched. Boom! All the air taken out of me. Everything just went black. Everything just went black, bro. From there, I just felt I just felt all these punches. And then I remember after that, I'm walking up the steps to go to my room. And this is the year. This is the year the we the we came out, bro. I know y'all remember the we. This is the year the we came out. She said, "And thank you getting that we for your birthday." Mind you, she never told me she was buying buying me a weed. Never told me nothing. My birthday is two days later. <laughs> and and think I'm buying that weed for your birthday. My whole soul left my body, bro. Like I was so fucking heartbroken, bro. Oh my god, bro. I got fucking knocked out from a body shot, bro. No bullshit. Got knocked out from a fucking chest shot, bro. I felt like she made my heart like stop for a quick second. She might have killed me with that that first one, and I came back to life. <laughs> like no bullshit. <laughs> so look, a couple days go by, right? I'm on punishment. I can't go nowhere. I'm I'm stuck in the house. I'm on like you not going outside, bro. That I swear, I swear that phrase, that phrase, hurt way more than any physical thing, bro. I was going to buy you that weed for your birthday. Now, thank you getting it. I said, Dude, that shit made me cry for about another hour. So, look. A couple of days go by, right? Everything all cool in the crib. Like, I don't got to stay in my room. I just can't go outside. She come in the house from work. My mom come in the house from work. <laughs> my dad had gave me like $20. Um, a couple of days before, I had went to the store that day. I got in trouble, and I had like sixteen dollars in change left. <laughs> Bro, I set the I set the sixteen dollars on the on the on the top step banister <laughs> for my mom to come home with a note over top of it <laughs> saying I'm sorry. <laughs> saying I'm sorry. I wanted that weed, man. <laughs> I wanted that weed bad as shit, bro. I tried to get my mom sixteen dollars to repair a fucking windshield, bro. My mom you know, obviously my mom had to pay for the windshield. So I leave the sixteen dollars on the thing with the note. My mom come home, she said My my mom whooped my ass again. This time with a belt. Tell my you think shit funny, huh? I'm like, oh my god. Like, I really thought I was doing a good deed, chat. I thought I was doing something good, chat. I swear I did. Bro, oh my god, bro. She put my ass again. And then my birthday came. I got like, I don't remember what I got, but I didn't get no way. 
And she really, like, uh, you know how usually when parents say you're not getting shit for your birthday, or you're not getting shit for Christmas, they'll still get it. I really didn't get no way, bro. I really didn't get no way, bro. I was so hurt. Moral of the story, chat. Stay the fuck off W Street. <laughs>